Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's lesson on the basic principles of MRI. This lesson focuses on resonance, which is the phenomenon that allows us to see the MRI image. It is the resonance in magnetic resonance imaging. This lesson also discusses the radio frequency or RF excitation pulse, the impact of the RF excitation pulse on the hydrogen nuclei, and how the magnetization changes when the hydrogen nuclei are exposed to an RF excitation pulse. First, let's define resonance. In MRI, resonance is what happens when MR active nuclei interact with an RF pulse at a specific frequency, namely their Larmor frequency. Remember that each MR active nuclei has its own unique Larmor frequency, and in MRI, we primarily focus on hydrogen nuclei. Hydrogen nuclei will only experience resonance if the RF pulse has a frequency equal to the Larmor frequency of hydrogen. If the RF pulse frequency does not match the hydrogen nuclei's Larmor frequency, it will not be able to absorb the energy from the pulse. Picture a group of people holding guitars, each with only one string. Some guitars only have A strings, some guitars only have G strings, some guitars only have E strings. Now, someone comes up to the group with a larger guitar with an A string. When the string is plucked, it vibrates and makes a loud sound causing all of the other A strings to also vibrate and make noise. The G and E strings do nothing. This is similar to what happens when an RF excitation pulse is used at hydrogen's Larmor frequency. An RF excitation pulse is a short burst of radio frequency energy applied to the area of the body being imaged. Again, this pulse is precisely tuned to the Larmor frequency of the hydrogen nuclei in the magnetic field. We refer to this RF excitation pulse as B sub 1. The energy from the RF pulse temporarily disrupts the alignment of the hydrogen nuclei with the magnetic field B sub 0. The energy is absorbed by the hydrogen nuclei and causes the magnetic moments of the hydrogen nuclei to precess in phase or in sync with one another. The RF excitation pulse comes in at a 90 degree angle to the longitudinal plane and B sub 0. Remember, when only exposed to B sub zero, the net magnetic vector, or NMV, is in alignment with the longitudinal plane. When the RF excitation pulse excites the NMV at a 90 degree angle, it is tilted or flipped into the transverse plane. This means that the NMV loses longitudinal magnetization and gains transverse magnetization, which is what we can measure in an MRI scanner. The amount that the NMV is tilted or flipped away from the longitudinal plane is called the tilt or flip angle. The flip angle is determined by the length and duration of the RF excitation pulse. If a short RF excitation pulse is used, then the flip angle may be less than 90 degrees. If a longer RF excitation pulse is used, the flip angle might be exactly 90 degrees. The flip angle plays a role in determining the contrast and brightness of the MRI image based on the different properties of different tissues, which we will discuss in a different lesson. When the RF excitation pulse is stopped, the hydrogen nuclei release the energy they absorbed and begin to dephase with one another. This is a process called relaxation. We will discuss relaxation more in a different lesson, but it is important to note that relaxation is a result of excitation. If resonance does not occur, then excitation does not happen. Without excitation, the hydrogen nuclei do not have the energy required to move into the transverse plane. Without resonance, there is no excitation, there is no relaxation, there is no signal, and there is no MRI image. In summary, resonance is what happens when MR active nuclei are excited by an RF pulse at the Larmor frequency of their nuclei. In MRI, a radio frequency, or RF, excitation pulse is used to excite hydrogen nuclei. The energy from the RF pulse is absorbed by the hydrogen nuclei, causing the NMV to flip out of the longitudinal plane into the transverse plane. The same RF excitation pulse causes the magnetic moments of the hydrogen nuclei to precess in phase or in sync with one another. The amount that the hydrogen nuclei are flipped into the transverse plane is called the flip angle. 